Okay, I'm so sorry. I had my earphones plugged in because we were doing a video chat and I wanted to be able to hear people. So I'm sorry if you didn't hear anything. Quick summary, people tend to oppose homeschooling because it's different than societal expectations or they have great ideas about what school should be like and it's kind of hard for them to think outside the box for success. So what do we do when we have people that are opposing us and opposing our decision in real life? The first one is if we are dealing with people who don't really know us very well. Okay, um, if we meet up with somebody in the grocery store or in the community and they pipe up with their two cents, then uh, here's what I, my advice is. You do not need to explain or choose to engage in conversation with people you don't know. There's really no point in it because it's not enough time to be able to change their mind or give them opinions or anything. A good smile and nod and grin is much better for your sanity. And honestly, they're not really ready for a conversation in that kind of environment anyways. So if it's somebody you don't know and it's not really worth it, don't bother, okay? I know that our gotta prove is right <laughs> attitude tends to come out, especially as homeschoolers, because we want to fight to show people that we're making the right decision, but we don't owe anybody an explanation, especially people we don't even know. So in that situation, I say smile and nod, try to bite your cheek or your tongue so you don't come out with the uh, tongue in cheek conversations, because I know we all have moments where we would like to spew some potential comments that may not be helpful in this situation, but do your best just to smile and nod, move along. Now, what do we do if we have friends and family that are making comments that are kind of anti-homeschool, but they're not really doing it in a malicious or really intentionally negative way, but it's mostly that they're doing it out of ignorance or they don't really understand. And maybe it's an opportunity for us to be able to speak for it, speak to them. Okay. Uh, if they're ready to have a conversation, you can, okay, don't come armed with the like textbooks. Here's my evidence about why homeschooling is awesome and you suck. Okay, that's not really going to do anybody any favors. You don't need to have a legal advice dossier to be able to convince people. Just my best advice is to show them through your experience and your actions. Okay, my best advice is to let them see for themselves how things are going. And if they have genuine questions that are going to be helpful, then you can answer them. But just remember, you don't have to do it in a way that fights or that proves anything. You can just give them information. Okay, so we don't need to um, put yourself into a position where you have to fight and explain for every single thing that you want to do. So um, if they're willing to learn, just help them see past that media paintbrush. Because often homeschooling has been given this idea of being religious nuts and crazy un socialized people and that there's a, their parents might be abusive or they're just failing their kids at life and they don't have the experience to see that it's a positive and it's a it's a successful option so giving them the chance to see it and to explain it and to talk about it be prepared that there are going to be times where people test your kids my kids just go what <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do math. Don't ask me math questions. Um, so just be prepared that it might happen. And if it's a possible, if it's an environment and a person that you're able to have a conversation with and you're able to share, go for it. But now, if you have a family member or a close friend that is completely opposite your decision and is a completely disapproving, and no matter what conversation you have with them, and no matter how many times you have um, explained your side of the point, or no matter how successful your kids have been doing, if you have people that you cannot have this conversation with, set boundaries. It's very hard when it's family if you have to set boundaries, but it is better for your kids and for you if you can set boundaries. Now, there's something that I like to call the bean dip method, and I, I don't talk about it in my book. I talk about, uh, what do I call it instead? Something else. It's just about setting boundaries. So the bean dip method is something that I've used in different areas of my parenting journey along the way when people haven't necessarily approved of choices that I have made, but I know that they're right for our family. The idea of the bean dip is to be able to end the conversation and and uh, redirect it somewhere else. So it's like, oh, you let your kid cry. You're not letting your kid cry out. That's the decision we've made. Can you please pass the bean dip? Bean dip? And it's to just direct, redirect the conversation somewhere else. Oh, you've chosen to homeschool. Aren't you worried that your child's going to be ruined for life? What the heck are you doing? Oh, yes, this is the decision we've made for our family. It's the best choice for us. Can you please pass the bean dip? That kind of thing. 
just anything. It could be, yeah, what about the weather? It's a ch change the conversation. Set the boundaries of what you're willing and not willing to talk about. Set the boundaries of what you're willing to have them say. That kind of thing. The conversations can end. They don't have to continue just because someone doesn't approve of your choice. You have made your decision. And I know that when you're new in particular, it can be really discouraging and causing you to have a lot of doubt when you are first starting homeschooling. If someone questions you or someone, especially when it's somebody that we value opinion of, right? It can be really challenging. But my, my goal for you is to understand that you have a right to stop conversation. So if the conversation is going in a direction that is not making you feel confident or you don't feel is going to be a benefit to either of you, you have the right to put boundaries up in place, okay? So hopefully that gives you some ideas. I know it's not a whole lot of conversation. There's a lot more we could talk about about opposition, but mostly the goal is to make sure that you understand you are not obligated to give a reason or an explanation to anybody. Your decision is the best decision for you and your family, no matter what other people's opinions are, okay? Anyways, I hope that you all have a great day. If you have any more ideas or comments or questions or anything that you want me to talk about this week as I wrap up my daily chats with you guys, feel free to post them below or send me a message. I would love to talk with you guys some more. So, all right, I will talk to you tomorrow.